Hey awak, awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita, Tanda Sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Jom kita revise sambil berehat. Sambil berehat pun, kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone. Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Hai semua, jumpa lagi dan kita masih berada dalam chapter 2. Macam mana chapter 2 anda? Okey ke? Jadi untuk subtopik kali ini kita akan lihat subtopik 2.2 iaitu Uniformly Accelerated Linear Motion dan masih ingat ke berkenaan equation 2.2? Hmm, macam mana? Okey ke tu? Alright, so jom kita tengok equation about uniformly accelerated linear motion and please remember this equation because we will apply these equations of motion with uniform acceleration. Dan equation yang pertama adalah V equal to U plus AT. Equation kedua adalah S equal to UT plus half AT squared. Dan yang ketiga adalah V squared equal to U squared plus 2AS. Hmm, tapi macam ada satu lagi equation yang pernah anda jumpa ketika tingkatan 5 dan 4 dahulu. Iaitu equation yang keempat iaitu S equal to half U plus VT. Jadi berdasarkan keempat equation ini kita ada three main equations iaitu vuat, sutat dan vuas. Anda selalu hafal macam tu kan? Vuat, sutat dan vuas. Jadi bila kita lihat kepada equation yang pertama di mana dalam equation ini tiada term of displacement ataupun unknown untuk S, equation kedua no V which is final velocity dan equation yang ketiga adalah T. Okay, equation ketiga tiada T iaitu time. Dan equation yang keempat bila kita lihat tiada term untuk acceleration ataupun unknown A for acceleration. Jadi di sini saya nak kongsikan sedikit berkenaan keyword penting yang anda semua kena ingat. Okay, keyword yang pertama when the object is initially at rest means that initial velocity U must equal to 0 meter per second. Baca soalan betul-betul tau. Okay, dan yang kedua when the question state that the object is decelerate break or slowing down means that the value of the acceleration must put negative sign. Okay? And the last one when the question state that the object is finally stopped means that the final velocity of the object is equal to 0 meter per second. Okay? Boleh ingat keyword ni? Penting tau supaya kita tidak salah ketika menjawab soalan. Hmm, kalau nak buat soalan berkenaan uniformly accelerated motion, jom kita tengok video seterusnya. Alright, so let's start with question number one. So here we have a car is moving with constant speed of 80 km per hour. Make sure you change to meter per second first. When suddenly the driver sees a cat 15 meters straight ahead of the car. The driver's reaction time is given 0.5 seconds and the maximum deceleration of the car is 10 meter per second squared. Okay, so let's sketch first diagram that refer to this example. Okay, so for example, we have a car on the road here. Okay, so let's say this is the car. Okay, so initially the car is moving in this direction. Let's say U is equal to 80 km per hour. So let's change to meter per second. And suddenly the driver sees a cat 50 meter away. Okay, from the car. So let's say this is the cat. Sorry for the bad drawing. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this is the cat where the distance from the car and the cat is 50 meter. Okay. So let's say this is 50 meter. And then when the driver sees a cat 50 meter away. So he took 0 0.5 seconds for his reaction. So means that dia nampak cat tu dia belum lagi tekan brake. 
and he took 0 0.5 seconds so means from here let's say we label as point a all right to point b so let's say this is direction time which is 0 0.5 seconds from a to b and then at point b all right at point b here the driver applied the brake okay so brake is applied okay at point b and after that what happened to the car the car will decelerate okay at a constant deceleration of negative 10 meter per second squared so negative means that the car is decelerating okay and remember so since the car is moving with constant speed from a to b means that b4 Okay, the brake is applied means that VB is equal to 80 km per hour. So now I want to change first 80 km per hour to meter per second. So kilometer dekat atas, kilometer dekat bawah. We want to change to meter. So 1 km is 1000 meter. Okay, and 1 hour. So another one at the top of the fraction. And this is seconds, so 1 hour, 3,600 seconds. Okay, so now press your calculator, so 22.22 meter per second. So means that at VB, it's also 22.22 meter per second. Same goes to at point A, 22.22 meter per second. Means that the velocity of the car from A to B is 22.22 meter per second since the question state that it moving with constant speed of 80 kilometer per hour okay so now for question a all right so calculate the total distance traveled by the car from the moment the driver sees the cat until it stops so we want to calculate the total distance means that from a to b and then to certain position kita tak tahu certain position dia maybe dekat sini dekat point C dia berhenti ke dia berhenti dekat sini dah langgar dah cat tu so we consider somewhere on the line as point C so we put VC equal to 0 meter per second means that the car will stop at point C ok ha, kalau dia berhenti dekat sini sinilah yang akan kosong nanti boleh Okay, so now back to question A. So let's write the solution here. Okay, so first we want to calculate what is the distance travel from A to B dalam masa reaction time 0 0.5 seconds. So I want to calculate first what is SAB daripada A to point B. Okay, so okay, we know that okay, from point A to point B Okay, so UA initial velocity at point A is 22.22 meter per second. And since the car is moving with constant speed, so from A to B, the acceleration is 0 meter per second squared. Okay, because constant speed. And the time taken from A to B for the reaction time of the driver, so 0 0.5 seconds. All right. Therefore, we can write that in order to calculate SAB. So, we can write SAB equal to UA initial velocity at point AT plus half AT squared. Okay, so we want to find SAB. So, A is equal to 0. So, UA is 22.22 meter per second and time is 0 0.5 seconds. Therefore, SAB is 11.11 meter. Okay. So, itu baru A to B. Yang color biru ini. So, saya highlight color biru from A to B. And from B to point C, di mana dekat C kita tahu dia akan berhenti. So, kita kena kira satu lagi. Okay. So, let's write here. Okay. So, from B to C. So, SBC which is from B to C, we know already that at point B, the velocity is still 22.22 meter per second. And the acceleration from B to C is negative. Jangan lupa negative sign. 
Okay. And at point C, kita tahu soalan kata until the car stop. Okay. Until the car stop. So, 0 meter per second. Okay. Therefore, based on this information given, we can calculate what is SBC by using equation VC squared. Okay. Kita dah tahu VC, VC adalah 0. And UB squared plus 2A. S. Uh, S tu dia boleh mana ke mana? Daripada B to C. Okay. For the whole journey. So final 0. UB is 22.22 squared plus. Therefore SBC is equal to 24.69 meter. Alright. So 24.69 meter is from B to C. And saya highlight dengan colour kuning ini. Okay. Uh, so, kita total up dulu. What is the total distance? Adakah dia langgar cat ini? What happens to the cat? Okay. So, therefore, we can write. Okay, total distance. Okay, total distance travel by the car from, okay, the moment. Ha, ni awak tulislah. From the moment the driver sees the cat, we can write as S total equal to SAB plus SBC. Okay, so we substitute 11.11 plus 24.69. So S total is equal to 35.80 meter. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay. And 35.80 meter belum lagi melebihi 50 meter maknanya kereta itu berhenti sebelum langgar kucing tersebut. So what happens to the cat? So kita boleh cakap lah. Okay. The cat is safe. Okay. Ha, tulislah. The cat is safe. Okay. So finish. Uh, part A. Alright, so part B, so sketch acceleration against time graph to show the motion of the car. Okay, so we want to sketch AT graph. Okay, so kita lukis di sini. So we have Y axis and then we have another one X axis. Okay, so now acceleration here, sorry. Okay. So now let's label A, the unit is meter per second squared and then T is in second so here is zero. Okay, so uh, we have deceleration of negative 10 meter per second. So bila sketch graph, mesti letak dia punya time frame dia from zero to, so reaction time tadi kita tahu. Reaction time here 0 0.5 seconds and then from B to C, uh, a ke B 0 0.5 seconds. So what is the time taken from B to C? So we can calculate by using equation of VC equal to UB plus AT. So since at point C, the car will stop and UB is 22.22 seconds, sorry, meter per second plus A is negative 10 T. Okay, so now let's write T is equal to 2.22 second. Okay. Ini adalah masa daripada B to C. Alright. Kita tahu from A to B is 0 0.5 seconds. Direction time from B until it stop. So, need another 2.22 seconds. Okay. So, bila kita sketch on the graph. So, make sure 0 0.5 tak bolehlah dekat sini 2.22. So, dia mesti tambahlah. Okay, dekat this point, saya highlight warna hijau ni. So, at this point, it should be T dia adalah 2.22 yang kita dah kira tadi plus 0 0.5. And it should be 2.72. Okay, so now we can sketch the graph from 0 to 0 0.5 second. The object is moving with constant speed means that the acceleration is equal to 0. Uh, so, saya letak highlight warna merah ni kan. Okay. And then from 0 0.5 seconds to 2.72 seconds, decelerating at negative 10 meter per second squared. Okay, meter per second squared. 
Okay, uh, so buatlah line cantik-cantik. Okay, uh, straight line lah eh. Okay, so finish example number one. So let's proceed to example number two. See you in the next session. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe channel Madam Fika Fiki. Jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera.